Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. I mean, basically, welcome to the constant barrage of YouTube videos I'm about to throw at your face. We are going to be debuting cards like my life depends on it. We have every division in baseball that we have to uh, debut on the team. We have the Homer Derby cards we have to debut on the team. We have literally so many cards that we have to debut on the YouTube and on TikTok as well. And we're going to begin at the very top of the list for Team Affinity 3. We're going to begin with the AL East. I'm going to show off the new cards that are in TA3. I'm going to talk about my favorites in each division. And then we're going to jump into some gameplay with these cards. I appreciate you guys watching. We're almost at 3,000 subs on YouTube. So if you haven't subbed the YouTube channel already, please do that. Comment below who your favorite drop out of TA3 is, and let's jump into the video. So for Team Affinity 3 in the AL East, we got five position players released. They're all starting on the team right now. We'll lead off with my personal favorite out of the AL East. We have Aaron Judge. His 98 overall, diamond fielding, 60 speed, um, awesome contact, awesome power. In my opinion, again, I said it's my favorite card. I've been waiting on a really good judge for a long time, so I love Aaron Judge's swing. He'll be in right field for us. Orioles fans, eat your heart out. I have a lot of O's fans in my Twitch chat right now who are very happy that Mullins got a new card. I'm happy he did too because I like Mullins' swing. Teoscar Hernandez, any Kevin uh, Go HD fans? And well, any Kevin fans, eat your heart out as well. He'll be excited to debut this Teoscar card. We'll be excited to debut him as well. I love Teoscar's swing. He'll be in left field for us today. Rafael Devers, somebody in my chat said they've already hit like 8,000 tanks with Devers. I hope that we hit some tanks as well. He'll be our third baseman for this video. And then Mike Zanino with his 45 contact and all of his glory. Low key, a hidden home run derby park or a home run derby card in the TA uh, program is this Mike Zanino, a catcher. I'm excited to debut him today. And then on the mound, there's no pitching like I mentioned in the AL East from TA3. So I just pitched one of my NL East guys, the Kluber. He'll be on the mound for this game. And also, um, these videos will all be centered around each division. So what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to just fill the team with each division. So with the AL East, I have Groshans, I have Semi, and I have Poppy. On the bench, I have Dominguez, Mountcastle, Posada, Meadows, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And the bullpen, I'm keeping my, my OP bullpen because the bullpen would be absolutely awful. And I want this to be at least a competitive gameplay. So Kluber on the mound, bullpen's normal, but the team itself is all centered on the AL East. I got my money on Aaron Judge. I want to hear you guys in the comments below who you think I'm to do best with let's get into the gameplay 217 he was at 195 last night my lord i'm facing the all right i guess we're facing jacob de grum in our first game all righty hey and out the issue with the grum is what we talked about before like he doesn't have a sinker he doesn't have a cutter but um he is a pub stomper and a stomper of people when they're like super tired and I'm super tired, so I'm kind of worried that I'm going to strike out about 37 times this game. Or I'll hit, like, 11 bombs. I mean, one of the two things are going to happen. We'll see. But are any other TA3 starters any good? I don't think so. Definitely the st the pitching is definitely the worst part of this drop. And I mean starting pitching. Like, the, the relievers are fantastic, but Kikuchi doesn't look good. Um, DeGrom does not look good. I mean, oh, what a backdoor cover. I can't talk. Backdoor cutter from Kluber. How about that? Chased a bad pitch. Awesome. Sorry, Cedric. My bad. Knowing me, I'll probably pitch a gem with Taylor Rogers and think he's the best card ever. Because that's just how life goes. The Marcus Simeon reunion tour! He is the best card in the game! Marcus Simeon started out on my team and he literally couldn't hit at all. And now Marcus Simeon is a impenetrable force. He is, I don't know what it is, man. I just, me and Marcus Simeon vibe some type of way, man. I can't wait to strike out on the slider inside. I don't know, I thought it was gonna be a ball the whole time. Oh, just a little bit of a float on that slurve. Just a little bit, chat. He was just posted. Good swing, man. This is going to be an interesting game. I feel like me and my opponent are are both hitting the ball relatively well. I like, he's just not, like, let's look at the PCI feedback here. Yeah, he just missed that. This is going to be a high scoring game. I promise with a six or seven thing, we're both going to be hitting tanks like every pitch. Hey, Big Owl, what's going on, man? Yeah, I told you. 
I told you it was happening. Can Cedric make a play? I did not execute that properly at all. Alright, um, he had one of the weirdest home runs ever with Trout. But other than that, I mean, we're kind of vibing. That might go. Never mind, it's a line out. Feels awful. Up the middle? Let's go, Judge. See, Chad, I'm one, I'm one for one with Judge. He's going to hit for the cycle this game. Just, just wait and see. Oh, man. I love outside pitches. Now he's going to throw some inside. I knew it, man! Asking you shall receive! Oh, like clockwork, baby! Just like clockwork, Teoscar Hernandez goes yabo! We're up two. Let's go, Teo. What a good swing on Teo. Good turn on that fastball. All right, Chad, the last YouTube video I recorded with Corey Kluber, he hit a home run. If you haven't watched that video, the link is in the description, but let's see if Kluber can do something here. That's not going to be a home run with Kluber. All right, Swamples, what do you got for me? Second down? Cedric Chat. How about that? You want to judge first? Not a bad idea. Good swing. All right, uh, Kluber's not doing too bad. I wish there was a pitcher in the, the uh, AL East TA path, but unfortunately there is not, which stinks. But still, um, enjoying the card so far. Good pitch. He jammed me there. I thought it was going outside. I, I sometimes get in ruts where I'm guessing instead of like reacting. And man, when I guess and I'm wrong, I mean, it's just like IRL baseball. If you guess and you're wrong, I mean, you're going to miss the ball like crazy. Is that going to go with Devers underneath the PCI? No, it will not. I thought for a second I was going to get bailed, but I mean, we're still doing okay. Oh, man. This is either a two run home run or a double play. I, there's only two things that can happen here. It's it's one of two. I don't know which one's gonna happen, but <laughs> I will get the one that I want. Let's go. Good pitch, man. Am I just complimenting the other guy the whole time, or am I gonna hit the ball? Holy smokes! Let's just keep complimenting our opponent and not making contact at all. That sounds like a great time. <laughs> oh, Kluber. I don't know why I thought I was going to get over his head. <laughs> I, yeah, Mancini had an awesome home run derby last night, man. He made a lot of people proud despite losing. Like, even though Mancini lost to Alonzo, I, I, there's no way anybody thought Mancini was doing that last night. He was like the lowest odds via Vegas, I believe, besides uh, Salvi. And Mancini and Salvi for having the lowest odds in Vegas last night had awesome home run derbies, dude. I mean, Salvi had the unfortunate draw of Pete Alonzo, but... All right, let's get some freaking runs here. Come on now. Up the middle? How about Teo two for two? You know, I said Judge was my favorite card, but I mean, Teoscar Hernandez is two for two, so... Hey! Hey! A little early bomb, a little early flavor, a little early zest on the on the nice breakfast burrito. Too bad. Yeah, Johnny was an awesome derby. Um, I'm gonna go to. You know, we have a chance to get some runs here, so I'm gonna go to the bench and I'm gonna bring in um, I'm gonna bring in Austin Meadows off the bench here. Meadows, that might go. Oh, that might go with Meadows. It's all. I can't talk, but it's a home run. I was going to say off the wall mid-pitch. I don't know why, but Austin Meadows off the bench. This is what happens when you're sleep deprived. I was up till 2 a.m. recording the video. I woke up at, at 6.30 to record another video. And now here I am hitting home runs, but I can't talk. So enjoy my speech impediment. All right, come on, Mullins. We brought in Alex Reyes. So I'm not scoring the rest of the game. Gregory Soto, yes. Semi and Linux be damned. Another base knock. Wow, we're kind of playing pretty well for our first ranked game of the day. Let's go, Rafael Devers. Oh, my God. How many perfect, perfect home runs have I hit, dude? This AL East team woke up and chose violence, dude. Oh, my God. 
My, this AL East team affinity woke up and said, we're going to hit some bleeping bombs, dude. Oh, my God. Honestly, right now, I don't think buying the packs is the worst idea ever because you could hit it big with the top cards. And if you hit the middle tier rounds, you're also making your, your money back as well. Like Soto and uh, Story are selling for a little bit more in the packets right now. Hey, let's go, JT. Awesome, man. And a Mets fan pulling Pete Alonso too? Good for you. Oh, turn that! Marcus Semien to Groshans over the first swing at the 4-6-3. Boy, this AL East team woke up and they were like, we're going to be the best team that you've ever played with. And I couldn't agree more. All right, let's, let's tee off here. Can we get four more runs in this inning? I think we can. I think we can get four more runs this inning. Three more runs to the Mercy roll. Let's get her done. Let's get her done. Let's Mercy our first game of the day. Big Poppy, another perfect, perfect home run. Wake the F up, you guys. We are in animal mode right now. <laughs> Wake the F up, we're in animal mode. Followed by the two worst swings I've ever had in my entire life. And a long jacket. Jordan? Let's go, Jordan. Uh, no, how many home runs have we hit this game? I actually can't keep track anymore. Dude, I mean, we're back at Capitol Field. My old home. My favorite stadium in the game. Feeling it a little bit. I'm going to, this might be a horrible idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. It was a good idea. Why did it look like it was going to go over his head? I'm not sure, but stand up and stretch. There's no chance I can hit Gregory Soto. I can't hit him at BR, let alone this awesome diamond in ranked seasons, man. Well, I almost did. All right, God bless Rafael Devers versus a lefty because this just doesn't... Yeah, I topped it again. That was a rough inning. It's almost like I told you I can't hit Gregory Soto. Pay a loan for some of these cards. I'm like literally going to sell off every card I have that's not related to the All-Star program. Analytics be damned. Feels bad. You're rushing at par five Marquez, right? Yeah, because he'll get traded to the Twins. And then I'm going to have a reason to have him. Oh, Jordan with a play? He'll be safe, though. All right, look. I mean, we're up eight runs, but this could get very, very dicey here. At least this means Soto's out of the... Oh, God. It's Nelson. So you're going to have more mine. Nice, dude. I'm actually very close on Mariano Rivera. Shoot. Good release in left field, though. Should only be one run. Huge. We can still escape with our lives. There we go. Well, that's not the correct amount of outs. I'll take the sack fly, I guess. Oh, Judge got that ball in really fast for not having a perfect release at all. Good swing, man. I told you to co it was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time before the opponent started hitting the ball, and he is awake and living right now. Let's go, baby. Got out of the frame. Huge. Still is only a six-run game, which six sounds like a lot, but in rank, that's not a lot. So we need some insurance runs here. Oh. God bless Mike Zanino, dude. All right, time for Judge to show out here. I said Judge was going to be... I said Judge was going to be my, my number one TA3 card. So let's see if I can show out with him here. I guess not, buddy. So... See, this is where it gets dicey. This is where I don't enjoy the ninth inning. If I blow a six-run lead, then I should put my game away and never return. Excuse me? Am I that good? What an unbelievable snipe by moi. Never compliment yourself ever again. One at a time, baby. That is one. That's big. We need two more of those. Basic math. How about Surge? Good old Sergio Romo out of the bullpen. Here we go, baby. Right, good move off the bench. All right, we still, we got one out. We got one out left, but now we got three runs to play with. I knew he was going to make this a game. I had that feeling in my bones. Like, you, like you can tell even when someone's getting out early in the game that they can hit the ball. And this guy could clearly hit the ball. It's just a matter of time before he started, like, crushing me. No, please don't. Oh, what a dot 
to win the game. Let's go Surge. The bullpen holds down the lead and the AL East Team Affinity 3 and company team get their win. Our first debut video of the new rank season and we are 1-0. What an awesome game, though. Teoscar Hernandez had home runs. Um, Meadows had a home run off the bench. Ortiz had a home run. I'm trying to think of all the guys who had home runs for us here. All right, YouTube, I hope you guys enjoyed the AL East Team Affinity 3 debut and company. Next video up is going to be the AL Central, but we're going to be posting videos like crazy. So if you guys want to keep watching them, then sub the channel. I'd appreciate if you do that, and I will catch you in the next one.